we are at uh, iWave here at uh, FTF 2011. So, uh, what are you showing here? We are showing uh, some of our uh, new designs which uh, enable uh, product engineering, product development for our customers. These are the new designs which we have done using which we can uh, develop products for our customers. So you have uh, 50, 15 plus uh, product design wins around IMX processors. Yes, there are 15 plus design wins so far. So most, most of the designs are done for Japanese customers, European customers and Indian customers. We're talking about, uh, so what are these examples here? What do you show here? We show the latest design is around IMX 53, i.mx IMX 53, 1 gigahertz processor, automotive grade. We did a SOM module which we uh, send to our customers. This sub module has got two CAN interface, two LCD interface, two camera interface brought out on the MXM connectors. And uh, is Android here on the... Android 2.3. 2.3? Yes. So what do you do to make 2.3 work? We just take the latest uh, we, we image? We take the latest image from Android, Google, yeah. and then we put it. And then we bring up the drivers. We have the uh, JNI plugin uh, to make it work with Android. Yeah, so we yeah, do all the driver development for Android. Uh, nice. So what do you have here? Uh, this is a product which we developed <laughs> for a customer in Spain. And this product is uh, GSM GPRS enabled yeah, using i.mx51 as the processor. This design we have very recently done for this customer. It's the same design we did using PXC270 six years back for the customer. Now he wanted to respin uh, the same product using the new processor, Freescale processor, i.mx51. So what is this for? This is a remote monitoring device for monitoring, controlling uh, the power electronic drives okay. being sold by the customer worldwide. So he sits in Spain, he monitors the performance of all the drives. He sells in New Zealand and uh, various different parts of the world. And uh, sitting in Spain, he is able to monitor, collect the telemetry data, the health parameters of the drives, and then he controls it from Spain. So the connectivity between this system and the power drives is through the GPRS connectivity. Nice. GPRS modem. And uh, what do you use here? Uh, this is a very exotic design which we have done very recently. We are using the Freescale's new processor called uh, um, uh, PowerPC 8640. Okay. It's a dual core, uh, single core, four, 4 gigabit Ethernet interface. This is used for the defense application. <laughs> for what? It's a high power, uh, uh, fast, super fast communication. A device. Nice. What is this? Uh, this is pretty old design what we did uh, uh, using i.mx27 but this runs uh, the very industry popular VX work operating system. This we developed for a Japanese customer and uh, this, is being, uh, this product is being under production in Japan for Japanese customer. This is using i.mx27 running nice. WinDrivers VX work operating system. So it has a graphics library called WinDML. This is a Windemon desktop. So it's not an Android? It's not Android, it's a WinDrivers operating system. WinDriver has got a WinDML uh, graphics library. So this is an i.mx P3, the new design, uh, with a daughter card running the uh, Ubuntu Linux. Nice. Is it touch? Yeah, it's a touch. It's a Ubuntu Linux. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it crashed. <laughs> no, are you there? It does work? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. One moment. One moment. Yeah. No problem. So that's going to reboot. And uh, how about this? No, we, we have to, it's hanging. It's not hanging. Right, it's, it's, uh, it has gone to uh, that standby mode. Standby mode? Yeah. Then you have to touch it and then it will come. Sorry. This is an i.mx51 running Windows Embedded Compact 7. Nice. SOM. We promote these SOM modules. The benefit of using these SOM modules by our customers is they can bring out their product much quicker than uh, developing from scratch. All right. So you, you swap some things, the module. Pardon me? Uh, yeah, some. Can, what is the some? We can swap the module. 
because they are all based on the Q7 standard. Suppose if they want a faster processor, you can simply re substitute IMX53, uh, uh, IMX51 with IMX53. Nice. And uh, then scalability. This is the IMX53 module. Separate. 53 and this is 51. This is SOS. That is 51. This is some module. 53 is some module. So. You do uh, PCB designs? PCB design, board design. Board design, and uh, where do you do those? Uh, it's safe. Pardon me? Where, where are you based? We, we are based in India, Bangalore. In Bangalore? Yes. And you do PCB design? Uh, and then PCB there. cadding, and then fabrication, we get it done by a third party. And then uh, you. We make get the it assembly, done prototype where? assembly in India. In India? Yeah. Assembly? Yeah, assembly, we get it done in India for you low China? volume. No China. No? But for high volume, we go to Taiwan, Taiwan. not to China. No, th not China. Not China. China is not involved. Yeah, we don't work with Chinese. Uh, right. How about the, what is that one? Uh, this is again uh, same IMX 51, but this RAM's uh, Skype is it's not powered on. We don't have to. Okay. Because it's not powered on. Nice. So, uh, what is your company? What do you do? See, we are 130 plus strong team today. 130? What's sorry? 130 strong team. Okay. We have 130 engineers working for the company. We have an office in Japan, we have an office in uh, Germany. We are planning to uh, start our operation in Singapore. What we do to our customers is, customers need to develop product for a new product introduction or the, uh, you know, the product becomes obsolete, they have to take care of the obsolescence. So we go sit with the customer, we understand the customer's requirements and then we develop the complete product from the concept to the market. Some of the designs like board design, embedded software, all these things we do, we do in-house. The PCB fabrication, assembly, the manufacturing, we get it done by third party part, development part, third party uh, partners. Yeah. And we for certification we use the TUV labs in India. So, all right. so and uh, what is your uh, relation with the Freescale? Everything is Freescale here. And, uh, you only like uh, why do you choose Freescale? See, we uh, we have an early access uh, partnership with uh, Freescale. Freescale gives advanced information about the silicon uh, much ahead of uh, the, uh, the the device coming to production. Meaning, uh, when they are in the design phase itself, they share with us information. Using that information, we come out with our own design. By the time the first sample comes out from the market into the market. Our uh, reference design is available. Then we test their sample. Then we closely work with them. Do you have bugs, or you fix them, or how does it work? Yeah, we we have we 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 don't fix their hardware bugs, but we report if there is any bug, we are able to report to Freescale. To Freescale, yes. But uh, when you ship all these products, they are bug free, or yeah, you when, still when work to update it? Bug free. Or? When we ship, it's bug bug free. All right. Yeah. Cool, and how long does it take uh, somebody to come to you and make a new project and have uh, something working? See, we, we are a very small team. We are very quick in responding to our customers. But once the customer signs up, 16 weeks time, we take 16 weeks time to bring the product out. If they use our some modules in their designs. If they use a new design from scratch, it takes at least 52 weeks for any product. Nice. Right. So that is the benefit, you know. Are you in uh, many products outside in the world? In the yeah, we are into the industrial, medical, and automotive. These are the three vertical. We have customers. Are there millions of products based with your? Yeah, there are about 15 plus designs we have sold. Each design will go into 10,000, 100,000 kind of volume. All right, cool. Yes. Mr. Kamraj, he takes care of the product engineering part. He is uh, basically he's from Intel. From Intel, he has uh, left Intel and joined the iWave. And using his previous experience, uh, no, he has brought out so many designs. And he takes care of the complete manufacturing, meaning working with manufacturing partners, getting our designs manufactured with quality. And we don't get any complaints from our customers because he closely works with our manufacturing partners to help the, the, to bring out the product with good quality. So how do you do that? Do you travel a lot or? Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe when we evaluate the vendors, we travel. But once it's done, uh, it's on a regular basis, we do audit and uh, see that the quality is maintained. Right. So as Mr.
Mr. Salia said, we have the Eco Partners for Manufacturing Certification. In our strength is on the design side, hardware, software, and PGA. So that way we give the uh, complete uh, product solution to our customer, starting from concept to manufacturing. And even in concept stage, we give ideas, the specification evolves along with the customer. It's not that customer comes with the complete spec. We work with them in evolving the spec itself. Alright, yeah. and uh, the quality control, it works yes. in uh, your department? Yes, so we have a QMS system, quality management system. It is primarily based on, uh, we took the, uh, both positive things from ISO as well as CMM. And we have uh, our own uh, QMS systems in place where we do regular audits and uh, check that everything is in place. All right. So thanks a lot for your overviews. Stringent reviews. He does a lot of reviews. Reviews. Not, yeah, it is not easy to get the manufacturing done by a, a overseas partner. You know, you need to give a lot of input to them and then collect the input from them. And then you, you need to do a lot of judgment by doing reviews. It's not easy. When your manufacturing partner is sitting next to you in the same place, it is easy. You go sit and uh, review it. Here he has to do the review from a distance. So you know? your company is not using x86? We use it, uh, x86 okay, also. Yeah. This is an FTA forum. Right. We have Intel uh, uh, embedded processor uh, Z510530, which is uh, Intel Atom embedded processor. We have Tunnel Creek uh, design. And uh, we work closely with Intel too, Intel TI and Fiscale. So we have the FPG IP core, just to add to that, on 8186 as well. We have the replacement core which is implemented on FPGA. Nice. How do we hire engineers? How do you do that? We go to the university and then we do uh, campus recruitment. We go to some select institutes in India and then we, we give importance to the attitude of the engineers more than the technical capabilities because we believe technical competency can be built after they join us. But the attitude cannot be changed. So we give importance more to the attitude than to the technical capacity. Do you do like Google? You give free food, uh, free laundry yes. and all that? We do like that. We do like that. We do three times food we give. You know, three times food we give to our engineers. But all days, three times. Seven days per week. Seven days per week? Yes. <laughs> and you know the cost of that uh, three days food is uh, not even $30 a month. $30 a month if you pay. You get three times food. In and people stay at the workplace. They don't want to go out to find food. Yes. They right. Don't want to go out and Stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So thanks a lot. You know, the, thanks. Uh, our, our salient, uh, our expertise is something like this. We don't do for more than one revision of our PCB. This PCB, whatever you see, the first revision of the PCB, I know the max, 53 board, some board. First revision. <laughs> First revision is the good one. Good one. Good How? One. No straps. No cut, no strap. All through reviews and standard processes. The sales review. Why do you do the first revision? Pardon me? You don't need to do the second so revision second ever. No Mostly 95%, 98% no. No second revision. Unless specification changes, customer comes, okay, you move this connector this side, that side, then we do that. Okay. All our designs, almost all our designs are done only one revision. And that helps to lower cost? Yes. Yeah? So we made one design for a Japanese customer. You know, that design had a 64-bit processor and x86 FPGA, very complex board, 18-layer PCB. We did in only one division, no cut or no strap. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.